Hey there fire signs, welcome to this Twin Flame Tower Love Reading. My name's Sophia, welcome back or welcome if you're new. I'm going to jump straight in and see what's happening. Okay, that one wants to come out as well, and that one. <sighs> oh, hidden. <laughs> Let's see. First card, let me have a read. It's the Knight of Wands. This is, to me, I, I, it's funny this card because this is your person totally feeling the twin flame connection. <laughs> it's kind of funny to me. Because of I say in my readings, birds, feathers, all this kind of thing is twin flame. It the, the bird in this card, which he's trying to ride, so he's trying to feel what to do with the twin flame, which was the last two readings. Oh my gosh, I'm hoping I'm not going down that road. <laughs> but anyway, he's trying to feel the connection, passionate about it. You're on his brain with the feathers here. But as you can see, the, the mask is not removed and totally shielded. So in short, he knows you're a twin flame. He may not say that, probably not saying that, and don't really know too much about twin flame. But I'm feeling that actually he, your person does. He might have done a little too reflex. Look, you know, research on the Internet. Ah, this, this, this connection is way different, you know. That's not for you to go and ask him. I'm making that clear. But this person, for this flame, for him to be rising it, and at this point, it's the first card, this person knows you're the twin flame. But I repeat, you can see, not saying jack shit about it. <laughs> still unmasked, still shielded. Now, if he is like this, this mask gets removed at the end of the Twin Flame journey. So this is showing me you're not doing the work. That's it. You're not completing it for him to remove it. It's not him. It's you have to remove it. This is... It's a repeat. It must be a timeline. So I'm just going to say what I said to the people in the last two earth and fire. Earth sign, air sign, your fire. Your person is coming unshielded, shielded, right? Masked. So feeling the twin flame, which if he feels it and now more though than ever, you're feeling he feels it more than ever. You have this knowing as well. So you're, like, wanting him to speak his truth about this twin flame situation. But he's still got his back to it. These are the first two cards. These are in different directions. It's like, this is like a dragon to me, which probably don't look like to you, which is a representation of the twin flame. So it's like... Well, he knows, I can feel it, he can feel it, he should come in his truth and speak about this twin flame. Not saying that you're thinking he's going to turn up on the door, you know, he or she, yep, yeah, we're twin flames, let's move forward. You know, not without that state in the twin flame, but this is what you're waiting for. Your person, this is what, the eight of pentacles is stuck. Stuck what? stuck in his home if you follow me i explained in the mood card what the dog means i'm not going over and repeating myself if you're new and you want to be with your person i'll repeat if you're new and you wanna be with your person not just listening to tarot just to make you feel better like a short hit of cocaine 
If you seriously want to be with your person, that's what my channel is about. The dog represents home, obedient, tied to, that kind of thing. That's what a dog is. Man's best friend. Your person is tied at home in some situation, but uses his guidance because this deck, this squirrel is the higher guidance. Some decks have guardian angels. Some have this wing. Some have birds. This has your bird, which is you in this deck. The squirrel represents higher guidance in this for me. So he uses his higher guidance indoors, which in code means he thinks about you when he's wherever he is. But is tied there with the dog for some reason. Working on his monies. He's trying to think of a plan to do with money, which I'll state. The masculines in general, not just twin flames, soulmates, because I work with soulmates, masculines particularly. And they like to be financially stable in their mind that's third dimensional but that's it regardless you can direct them what to do you can have more money than them you can have less than them if you're stable to them that's the only way they can match it is by having their monies up so there's something about money here but this is directly here this green what is this green thing here this is you in the home why do you keep going back there? Why are you running back to her? Why are you leaving me? Blah, 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 blah. He's not leaving you. You're there with him. Higher intuition, that's you here. Green love chakra. It's in his home. He's trying to build it, but it's like he's looking here at that, but this is one pentacle by itself. This massive one here is like a separation of this. So he's trying to work out how to share, because I split the cards, share between getting this new home with you. There's no way he's going to tell you that. I'm just making that clear. From this home here, which is the Six of Pentacles, which I'll split it again. Three here, three here, which is teamwork, Three of Pentacles. So he's working at it to be a team with you. Once again, with the one pentacle here, which is the reflection, which your one pentacle, which will reflect on him working all this out. That's what's going on with your person. He also, I'm going to have to say this after this card. Why well, he's here in this home, there's drama. I always say this. I don't know why I'm repeating myself. I said I'll say it after the card. I'm feeling to say it before I've even explained the card. The last three readings, no doubt the water sign. Water's normally different though, but let's see. It's been me repeating myself about it, what I've been saying from day one, really. What's going on with your person? I don't feel like I've moved on from the same storylines from when I stated the channel of what's going on with your person. So that means you lot are not here, you're not listening. You're not hearing me. And I'm not here like other tarots for entertainment purposes. A disclaimer, this is entertainment purposes. My disclaimer is this, I'm here to get you with your person. If you want entertainment, there's other channels for that. You want to be with your person, you need to do the steps that I tell you to do. And if he was, I wouldn't be reading out this storyline, which I have done with the last two. Your person, I've stated from the first card, which was the same kind of situation, different versions from the first card from all the other readings of what he does. He feels you, but he's stuck. I don't know what else to say. Right? He's stuck because of your ass ain't doing the steps to be with a twin flame because you're still third dimensional thinking you know the last final step of what to do. Because you're at the nine. I'm not even looking. Let me see if you're here. You're here at the nine. But you won't get to the ten unless you complete what I tell you what to do. Which you still look in third dimensional and think, yeah, I've done all the other steps. But the last final step is the hardest, obviously. But that's when you get the prize. That's when he removes this. This is what your person's doing at the moment. Shielding the twin flame situation. This guy's covering you here, flame. Feeling you as usual, twin flame dynamic on his back. So he hasn't forgotten you. You might think he's turned his back on it. 
He's still covered with you. He's looking out for you. That's what he's looking for. You think it's indecisive in and out behavior, but the swords are clearly one here for you. And he's got one here. They're separated. They're up. They're correct when they're up in the meaning is truth. Swords down represent their lies. So he's in his truth. You think you're in your truth. You're wrong. You're wrong. I'm just going to make that clear. Because if you was in your truth, you'll be in union with your person. Here's the sun. This is what he wants to go towards. Well, I don't know what you're going towards. I'm not even going there. He's got these wolves still in the picture, which he's trying to fight. Look, he's trying to, there's a fight going to go on here. Look, there's a fight. This is swords on the floor. Three of swords on the floor. Three of swords heartbreak. Who's creating the heartbreak? He's fighting the twin flame here. He's battling and protecting it. So I wonder who's, who's creating the heartbreak. You. For sure, you are. Belief systems with the cross here. They're crossed there to say that, look, you're in your truth. He's in his truth. The swords are, look, towards the twin flame, towards him. You both have your uprooted belief systems, traditions, rah, 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 what should be. That's bullshit. The truth is, you're a twin flame. You don't live on third dimensional traditions and belief systems which Illuminati and whoever create. There is no religion within Twin Flame. You do what you want to do. If you then are pulled to a religion, that's you. You don't keep your religion from not being with your person. By looking third dimensional, oh, he's a drug addict, he's living with someone else, duh, duh, duh. Go check out my video about the moon card. That's what this is. This is what your person's doing. Protecting the, the situation. Let's, oh, I'd love to know what you're doing. Let's see. You're underneath him here, meaning you lead. I told you, he's shielded. He's ready, though. He's ready to ride this wave and move forward. He's riding the wave. He's riding the twin flame journey. You're sitting here. Look at her. All like up in herself. I'm it. I'm doing well. Thank you very much. One of those attitudes, right? Waiting for your pay person. You know, I want marriage with the ring next to the, the emotional cup. I want commitment. It's like you're showing it to him. This is what I want. You're not getting jack shit else emotionally from me until I get that. I'm going to sit here. As stush as fuck until you do that. That's that's what's going on here. Look, a toe of emotions to your person. That's what you're giving him now. You're like, when you come flooding with your emotions towards me, which I can't see because it's behind you, and you think it's behind you literally like gone, when all you got to do is get off your fucking high horse and turn around and do the correct steps. That's what's behind you. Look at it. Waterfall. That's where all the emotion. Look at him. It, this is on top of you. This guy's riding that wave, waves of emotions, which you are, are sitting there thinking, no, nope, not having it. Not ha having it. This is the, yeah, queen. I'm ready. I've done all the work. La, 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 la. No, you ain't. I told you, you're at the nine. You ain't done the work. You know what you ain't done. It's pretty much mission. Most of you don't do mission. And I said to one, I think it was a sign, you go on to a, a, another twin flame that's in, a, in union and tell me that they're doing a third dimensional job that they don't like or they think's okay. They don't do that. There's not a person in union that goes and works in a supermarket or comes home from work and hates it. You have to get off your ass and reps work out what your mission is. If not, you can sit there for the rest of your days thinking your shit don't stink and you'll be lonely for the rest of your days. Might attract a soulmate that don't touch the sides to a twin flame love though, does it? 
Speaking the truth. This is a twin flame speaking the truth. With you two here is a twin flame. This is a lover's card, but it's underneath this. You're waiting for your person to jump over backwards, look, and come and tell you you're the one twin flame bollocks. Lovers. Look at this card. Rainbow. Union. The tie here, the tie of the knot, is where? On the hands. Why? How many times? No words needed. You Fill him. Hands fill, right? That's how you tie this twin flame connection. That's when you get your new beginning. There's two half of the apples. The apple is from the tree, the tree of life, rooted belief systems that you need to work out. Here's the sword, which is the truth comes out. This is the stable foundation. Look how strong this is. It's also a connection with a graveyard because it's to do with rooted belief systems. You work all this shit out that's on this table. And the union, because this is the rainbow, which represents union, goes from one person to the other. That's how twin flame works. One heart, one wish come true belief systems that's what's happening you what you're waiting for come and tell me we're twin flames bollocks don't work like that if you know you're a twin flame i'll repeat you know don't ask me for reading to see if i am if my person's a twin flame i don't do readings for that you can go and get fluff for that I tell you what to do to be a true twin flame, to work and align on yourself. Then, if you think your twin flame is your twin flame, it generally is. I think I had one person that wasn't, but still, when they done the work, attracted their true twin flame. You just want them to show up and say, I'm the twin flame. Oh, okay, then I'll work on myself, which I guarantee you still wouldn't leave your job. That's what's happening here. Yeah? tower moment this needs to be this is both of you but i say both of you there's a tower moment going on from both of you at the moment because like i said you're at the nine so it's going to affect on your person and he's starting that's why he's like that because you're at the nine but i state if you follow me the mask gets removed at the end it's not removed you're not at the end so you're not doing the work the tower is underneath here the foundation which you're booing and hooing and moaning about for your person to come out of, to come to live with you, which he is ready to do because he's got it in his hand. This is the home card. Will crumble because with this lightning here, it's the time. It's all pointing. You've reached this nine. I've told you you're at the nine. You're at the top of the tower. Ding. It's time, right, for you to move on. But you've still got one thing here that you're not looking up at. The foundation is crumbling. It's nearly happening, but it's like, let me see. She's not facing it. Look, I'll tell you what I see in this card. Why are these at the bottom of the card is what I'm trying to say. Look, that they're coming out, but what? why are they at the bottom? This woman, I'll try to get it so you can see, without that kind of shadow, but I don't know how to do that. It's like, this is like, you're still not, because this is like a little devil thing here. You're still not, fa You're not. You, it's like shadow, you still haven't finished. You're holding your person down. Look, she's leaning. It's like, you've got to look up and She's leaning on a grave thing here. Past rooted belief systems. You still got your hold on. What what the fuck are you still holding on to that for? Which is suppressing your person, which is beneath you, which you're not facing. Look, you're not facing the shadow still. So it's still controlling you. This is the tower fucking card. This is what you have to do to complete it. Can you see this doorway here? It's like you're still in this cross doorway here. You need to look up and ask and finish this job. You're not finishing the fucking job. Your hand is still on this. Oh, yeah, well, you know, I've aligned. I'm doing, you know, 
all my chakras are opening and heart chakra and, and, and all this kind of thing. But, you know, my job's all right, so I'll just keep that. And then hopefully you should come towards me. No. Everything in my playlist, you can complete without a reading and get with your person. If you want a fast track, because you lot take so long anyway, and you want directly for me to help you what to say and what to do, that's what my readings are for. My playlist is generally so that you can see that I know what to do so you can get with your person. Then you take my reading and then I get you with your person. This person thinks her shit don't stink and she knows what to do, but still holding on to her old belief systems and avoiding the shadow because she's not even looking at the shadow work here. Oh, no, but me working in a job which is OK is not shadow work. It's belief systems of you must work in a job you don't really want to do what do you really want to do that shadow work you're in denial this is reflecting on both of you having these inner out burdens all these people are blindfold here this is doing it incorrectly this is to do with eyesight they're not just battling, are they? Why are they blindfolded? You're blindfolded to the fucking truth that you're looking with your um, eyeballs instead of a third eye, which is making you fucking around, doing conflicts and burdens and all this kind of stupidness because you ain't looking correctly. That's why the, 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 it's, they're blindfolded and don't know what they're doing. This guy might be your higher guide who's just standing there, like looking at you. Look at you. All you've got to do is turn around and you take the blindfolds off, go inside and see your guidance here. This guy's just out of the frame, standing there waiting for you. That's your guidance with his one wand. But you don't want to know that. You don't want to see it. He might look different to you. It might be me. Well, no, Sophie swears too much and she's too fresh. She can't know her shit. She ain't a two twin flame, which is all, hi, your spiritual guidance. That's what this is saying. You want someone to show up to you that doesn't look like this person to give you guidance and tell you how to lead the story, which is fucking you up because you're here to be like me. You're supposed to be doing what you want and go with people who resonate with. Doesn't matter if I fucking swear, does it? You're not looking at the right people. That's what this is saying. You're fucking around creating bur burdens with wrong people. This is your sticks in the air, which is passion. You're passionately fucking around with stupid idiots. That's what you're doing, which is causing internal and external burdens for you. Thinking they're sweet, right? With the honey thing here, but they're bees, which sting your ass. And it's your four of wands, which is your foundation, which is the start of the twin flame victory. It's not happening. It's more, it's in the air. The foundations ain't standing straight like the how poor one stand because you're fucking it up because you're not listening to this person here, me or whoever person that you looking at can't be right. This one's got the twin flame hat is the wise one. Where's, where's, where, 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 these ones are just fucking around. No feathers or wings or that there on them, is it? That's why your person's in this. He's got the same battle, but he don't know what to do. He's ready in, 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 the, in battle mode, ready to come out of this. You're sitting there up your ass. Look at this. You're the leader. You're the leader. You're the leader. Look who's in the middle. Here's your person. There's you. Here's your person. First card, first row. Who's in the middle? You. You take the steps because, like I say, your person's in home, focused on you with that green thing. It's a stone, gemstone. 
he's at home. All they generally do is just focus on what to do to get with you. Don't know how to do it. Passionate about you. Wants to commit with these ties and stuff like that. There you are. There's him. Whatever. Twin flame. That's it. I'm ready. I'm waiting. I'm good to go. Does that face sitting in his throne at home, does he look stupid and pissed off and giving it large? Or does he just look like I'm just ready? Let's see if I can get that. I'm ready. Can you see his crown is made of wood? That's, that's, that's the home life he's stuck in. Because that's what they are. They're stuck in their home life. You, with the tilt of the face, up her arse face. That's what that is. Look. Underneath this one. You want him to come say I'm a twin flame. Ain't going to happen. I explained how it properly happens underneath this. What's the key here? You ain't fucking seeing it. That's what it is. This is the wheel of fortune. Here's your fortune. Here's your wish come true. You push it this way or that way. That's it. That's it. I'm not going to even bother going into it. I'll just go, look, time, sun, autumn, winter, autumn, whatever, time, right? This wheel goes round and round and round. I keep saying, you don't do the steps to complete the journey. You get to the nine. You don't fucking listen to people. Well, there's no one. You found me, right? who you should resonate with, but you're listening to these stupid idiots over here, then you go round back to the fool's journey again. And then you get pissed off. Oh, that tower reader's not telling me what to do. And he's not just going to turn, he's not come and told me he loves me, I'm twin flame. Because your twin flame, they're talking like they're soulmates. Soulmates do that, twin flames don't. That's why there's a will in the card, because the will turns. You choose how to turn it. And at the moment, you're the monkey with the blindfold on. What is it? See no evil, blah, or hear no evil, all that shit. That's what's going on with you. Denial. This will, I've been warning you lot. The timeline is now. If you don't listen to me, you're going to go back onto the fool's journey again. After you do it, it's oh, this last card. Look, this guy don't see this journey because that's for you to do. You're the one who leads. He just has burdens. Oh, why don't he do it? Why do I have to do it? Because he's got fucking burdens. He can't see the woods from the trees and all that, right? That's why the sticks are up in his face. It's for you to do it. You decide if he drops these fucking things and starts afresh with his foot like the fool's journey. You decide if he starts this new beginning. Will he drop it or will he just carry on with the burden? The top is he's got you on the brain. The bottom is this pose for the start of the new beginning, the fool's journey, completing this fucking drama. But he can't see from the burdens. You don't have those fucking burdens. That's why you do this work. Stop bitching about what he's doing with other people and get on with your work. That's why he's coming masked. The only good thing that I've said in all these readings is that so far you're at the nine. So what is the final thing you're not doing to complete it for him to dro drop the burdens? I pretty much have said in all the other readings, it's got to do with mission. One person I think is, and she's not said that to me, which is why I think it's her job, because how she, I feel that she loves her job. 
it doesn't mean you have to go and do Reiki or acupuncture or anything like that. So long as you love, I repeat, love what you do. If you go and open up a baker's shop and you love doing that, and no, and you don't have people in your ear telling you, well, you got to make the cakes this way or telling you whatever. That's your mission. That's your mission. But you're still holding on to belief systems and, oh, well, I'll just stay in this job. I don't know because this is for general people. But I majority of people, that's the last key which is why there's a key in the Hierophant card. You see the two keys in the picture of the Hierophant card? Well, not here, but Twin Flames, Union is a High Priestess and a Hierophant. The key to that is you dropping the belief systems. So I'm going to do one more, and I'll say what I said in the other ones. If the next reading is still like this, I'm going to take a break because no one's listening. So... Um, yeah, uh, hopefully this was good for someone. I'm hoping to target at least more than one, but let's see. Okay, and we'll see what happens on the next reading. <laughs>